to the sixth episode of the Jukes Academy, Academy Podcast. On today's show, we have an interview with the radio presenter and comedian Melvin Odu, a featured track from Rashan in 10K, the usual news and announcements, and we'll announce the winner of the last episode's riddle competition. So let's get straight on to our special interview. Welcome, Melvin, to the Jukes Aldridge Academy Podcast. The first question is, how did you become a comedian slash radio presenter? Hey guys, how you doing? It's Melvin here. So first question, how did I become a TV and radio presenter? Um, I kind of always knew that I wanted to get into like performance of some kind. I like the idea of entertaining people. So um, at school I did like drama. I always used to get involved in like talent shows and stuff like that. Uh, ended up at university doing media performance and radio and that was like the first taste of like presenting for me. When I finished uni, I went to um, to do work experience at the BBC for a station called One Extra. And off the back of that, got signed to an agency called Something Else. And um, we ended up on KISS. And once we started at KISS, then loads of different things started to happen. Um, it kind of opened the doors for like more TV work and DJing and stuff like that. So I'd say KISS was kind of like the big break. But yeah, I kind of got a taste for presenting from university. What an interesting story. On your journey to becoming a successful presenter, what was one of the toughest challenges you had to overcome? You're always going to have challenges is if you kind of uh, end up working in the media industry. I think the biggest challenge for me was when I first started. Um, I remember finishing university. I was like really broke at the time. I had like my student loan to pay off. Had no money in the bank. Had to move back home to my mum's after living by myself for like three years. Um, And it was really hard to get into the industry. No one knew who I was. I had no work experience. And it was kind of like uh, a really tough point because I was like, do I do like a normal nine to five job in an office or do I pursue my dream? And I think everyone who's been in this industry has that point or they, they have that challenge in their life where they think to themselves, am, am I good enough to do this? Um, and I think the secret is not giving up. Um, I've got an, an amazing support system um, in my family, my friends are amazing as well and they've always believed in me and they've always motivated me to, to be where I am now and I think it's, having, it's about having a belief in yourself as well. Um, there's so many different challenges that you'll, you'll come across in life when you work in the media industry. You'll constantly compare yourself to other people, especially with social media. Um, you'll have points where you'll have peaks and troughs. So you might be smashing it one year and then things might get really quiet another year. And so I think it all comes back to having that self-belief and not giving up. What advice would you give to Duke's Academy students wishing to pursue a career in the creative industry? The advice I would give to anyone trying to pursue a career in the creative industry is make sure you do what you love. Um, I think some people think it's all glitz and glamour and it's not about that. It's about hard work, it's about grafting, it is about starting from the bottom and working your way up. It's not just about being on red carpets and meeting celebrities and uh, making loads of money, it's not about that. If you want to make loads of money, you need to go into finance or something like that, or become an astronaut. But if you want to be a creative, I think the first thing is do what you love. That's the truth. Our final question is, you're traveling to the International Space Station for the next two years. What three items will you take and why? So if I was going to the International Space Station, the three items I would take is uh, my mum's recipe for jollof rice and chicken. Her jollof rice is so nice, man. And that way I could feel close to her while making that recipe in space. I would take my phone to uh, look at photos of friends and family, listen to music and watch old episodes of Game of Thrones. And finally, I would take my trophy for when I won the Strictly Come Dancing Christmas special to let any aliens know I'm a great dancer. It's important that they know that. And those would be my free items. What incredible answers. Thank you for this interview, Melvin. It was such an opportunity to meet you. Now let's get on to our featured track. 
grinding too much, let me switch the agenda Mommy struggling with payments, I couldn't defend her Nobody better around my age and I meant to offend ya Baby girl, I cannot like it, your feelings are tender And I can break it up in pieces like making amends now Give me a chance and man, I promise I'll probably make it If I ever say I trust you, I'm probably faking I don't you ever say you love me, just hand me a pace Life is like the way you rumble, the strongest can make it Looking deep into my mind, tell me what you will find Many, many lost meanings, impossible lies So when I'm writing all these songs, I'm expanding my mind Keep protecting me, bow on me, cause I'm one of a kind And when I'm telling all these stories, I'm speaking about life I'll never class you as a man if you're clutching a nine I'll never class you as a man if you're not in your grind I'll keep on working, if I'm not, then I'm never gonna shine He's in the trap, wrapping these packs like he's working for narcos Here in the bang, now the adrenaline starting to dart off Looking back, maybe I'm better off rapping a star dog Living life in many luxuries, it's funny when money can take me Me that out the gutter and trust me, I'll never move daisy Flying different bars in your head and now you're moving hazy Struggle, 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 the bottom is what really made me Fantastic track! Now let's get on to our news announcement. Don't forget that this Tuesday is the Year 8 Parents Evening. Speak to your teachers to book a time slot. And the weather for this week is... Same as last time. Current standing in the race for house points, we have... Adkins in fourth place with 3,445. In third, we have Wallace with 3,465. In second, we have Burn with 3,892. And out in the lead, we have Tar with a whopping 3,933. Now onto the competition. It's competition time. Ooh. Last week's question was, I'm tall when I'm young and I'm short when I'm old. What am I? The answer was, a candle. Of course. We will now pick the winner out of our very fancy box. And the winner is... Tasnima in 10S. Congratulations. Thank you for tuning in on the sixth episode of the Jukes Academy podcast. Toasty!